How you going, people? Let's play with fire. Um, so I'm asking my neighbor if he thinks my pasture will burn down if I burn some wood in it. He says, I don't think so. <laughs> so I want to do a test. So I did a little test to see if green grass would burn. And I'd sprayed some weed killer down here so all the grass was dead. But up around here, it's not so dead. Come on. Okay. So we're going to start this on fire here. changing on me so I uh I don't know which way the wind keeps changing on me because a few minutes ago it was coming from the other way now it's blowing back on my face but when it was blowing out toward the longer grass you can tell it got pretty far out there before I decided to go ahead and put some water on it because I'm like eh, I don't know so when I light this green grass here, it looks like it's burning out pretty quick. It still hits, it's pretty green, it's still moving. Um, I'm still a little concerned if a wind comes up, it fans it and it burns all the dead grass underneath it. So most people will tell you green pasture won't burn, but if it gets hot enough and enough wind, it will. So you can tell where the grass is short on this side where I cut it, it's burning slow. Uh, a breeze might even burn it out. But it's not getting what I would say out of control. I've got a hose over here to where I can squirt it down pretty easy. And that's another thing with green grass. If you have water, it doesn't take a lot to put it out. I mean, you get a little damp and combined with the green grass, you know, all the moisture, it's hard to burn anyway. But then you put a little water on it and it usually shuts it down pretty good. But there's, when you get into this tall grass out here, man, it just wants to kind of take off. So, I'm still debating on whether to light those trees on fire because the wind keeps changing. If the wind was staying in this direction, like it is this way, I would go ahead and do it because then what, the, the fire is on this side of the driveway. It would burn to the driveway and then burn out. But if the wind switches and goes this way, then it goes all over my pond and all the trees. Which, because it's green grass, I don't think it's going to burn real hot. You can tell this little fire right here is not going out. It's slowly, slowly spreading. Um, you can also see right back there a little bit where that is kind of uh, catching fire and doing pretty good. Let's see what that looks up a little closer. So see that little sucker right there is, is, is what I'm worried about. You get one of those little trailers that go on the ground, then it gets to the longer grass and it burns underneath. And then the next thing you know, I mean, again, it's not out of control. I could probably run over that with my quad, my motorcycle, my golf cart, even grab a rake and probably scrape that down and put it out. Uh, but I don't have any water out there where the trees are at. So I don't have a, a fail safe to where I can grab some water if this gets out of control. So as you can tell, that area is still, uh, although most of it's burnt out, and now I cleaned my fence line up, but there's still a little bit right there and that one has slowly got a little trailer and it's uh going out so if i left that alone would it burn i don't know see it's pretty short i'm telling you man that stuff over there was like going pretty damn good i was like crap i better go ahead and put some water on it because this is getting a little out of hand um i could probably go the hose will probably reach down to that corner 
and I could light that corner up. So I'm going to have to go ahead and probably hose this down um, because it doesn't, it's slowly, and I, don't, I wouldn't really care if it burnt down a pasture. I just don't want it to go to someone else's pasture and uh, cause a bunch of problems. So it doesn't take much water to put this out. I mean, once, once a little bit of water hits it, we're pretty much done. It's out fast. So let me, uh, oh, let me roll this down here, and then I'll move the camera. If you want to hang around. I don't like this big area down here. I show the difference of the long grass versus the short grass. I'm coming. People be like, why didn't you set this up before? Why are you making us wait? Oh, be quiet. You want to see a big fire? And, or don't you? <laughs> I really don't want to see a big fire. <laughs> but I sure would like to burn those trees down because we don't get many days where there's not a lot of wind. Pasture's still pretty green. So I'm kind of uh, like ready to do this. Let me grab my hose and drag it over here. All right, so the hose is here. I'll start this sucker up. Let's see what happens. Okay, you can tell that kind of kicks up a lot quicker because it's dead and long but is it going to keep burning or burn out I mean if it burns out that's cool I don't care you know if it burns five ten feet I'd be okay but when it gets to this longer grass right here it's a little bit more difficult to control and see that kind of gets as it starts getting big like that I don't want that sucker getting out of control too quick although because it's green it's fairly slow. It gives me enough time to get on it with this hose. So although it looked really bad real quick, once it burns out the fuel, and there's an old uh, there's an old story about a couple guys in the in the woods. I think I've told this before that uh, they were running from a fire that was out of control, and uh, they were running and running, and the fire was closing in on him because of the wind so this one guy drops to one knee and says wait a minute and he puts his lighter out and he lights the area on fire guy goes what are you doing he goes just stay here that guy ran off said I'm not waiting man you're crazy this guy burned out a little patch like this burn here he let it burn around and burn all the fuel he laid in the middle of it with a blanket and then uh, he was allowed to make it out of the fire because when the fire came it went around him because there wasn't enough fuel so you know, fighting fire with fire, all that's pretty good. See, it's kind of drifting out just a little bit farther than I like. I would like for this to be going out quicker. But I kind of get these uh, little spurts. And I just don't... Uh, I Man, I just don't know if it'll keep burning. Everybody's like, oh, let it burn. I know there's going to be people in comments. You should have just let it burn. It'll go out. Man, I hope it does, but... I want to burn down my neighbor's pasture and don't want to have a fire department coming out here because I'm old pasture. Don't want to kill my trees. I mean, I would like it if it just kind of died out. But it's getting a little far right there, so my spray on my hose may not reach past much past there. I'm going to have to go uh, take that out because I'm just a little nervous on that area. So I took that out and it again it goes out really easy when you got green grass so that's a good thing about lighting green grass but man it's slowly spreading here and I just wish that would go out and not go through my whole pasture 
Now if I had a hose down there, I would just do a, a back burn like this, burn it around my trees, let it burn the fuel out, and then I would start the trees in the middle of the burn area. But I don't have any hose or any way to kind of like control burn around it other than stomping on my feet. So, uh, so this is kind of moving along over here pretty good. Which I don't really care because it's burning the fence line. What I care about, see my wind switched on me again a few minutes. Look at that. That shit spurred up over there. Getting a little out of reach of my uh, fire hose. I better get on that. Because that kind of flared back up. I didn't like that. Uh, I'm just going to wet the grass around it there. This one's kind of getting along over here, too. I better go ahead and take this out. This one's getting out of control. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, woo, easy boy. All right, so now I got that out. Went ahead and got all that out, but now this is kind of like just trucking along. So, if the wind blew right down the fence line, that'd be great, because then it'd just clean up my fence line. And I can go down and just light the fence line and put it out, light it and put it out. And that'll clear out some of the weeds on my fence line, but Again, I gotta see I haven't got that back there and that's still wanting to all this is pretty green grass, but the grass underneath the green grass is dead. So it, it's just enough fuel with the wind to keep it burning. Uh, will it get out of control and just go massive? I don't think so, but man, it's just too much to risk. So I'm kind of you know I didn't squirt this right here and this is kind of encroaching my way, it's still burning, encroaching a little toward me. Which I don't really care because it's just going to hit concrete and burn out. Um, so if the wind was blowing this way I, I, and I had you know a good break, I'd be okay. But so this one over here is really, really smoking a lot, which tells me I didn't get it wet enough and it can flare back up. So I definitely that's getting some really good smoke there. I'm going to go ahead and put some more water on that sucker. Hey, don't be causing problems. Even if that does flare back up, all the water around it's going to be kind of wet. And I can pretty much stop that. I see a little bit of smoke over here, just in a couple places, nothing major. So, going along here, slowed down pretty good, hit this long kind of weed grass, and it stopped, which is cool. But you can tell where the dead grass is at along that fence line where I sprayed some weed killer. That's going up pretty good. I just wish it stopped when I hit the green, but it's still, it's just right there on the verge. Do I want to risk it? So I probably won't. But anyway, somebody put some comments in there. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. That's okay. I'll take the suggestions. Uh, like I said, the best thing I think I'd like to do is just do a controlled burn around the wood that I'm going to burn so there's no fuel and then burn the wood in the middle, but I just don't have any way to get water down. It's way down there at the end of the pasture. So there's no water, there's the uh, lake there, but uh, once that sucker goes up and I lose control, I'm screwed. Last thing I wanna do is call the fire department out here. Uh, a lot of smoke over here. That green grass is trying to smoke up. Uh, would it go out naturally? I think it would. Would a big wind flare it up? Yeah, it could be. Fire is one of those little mind of its own things. I just need, if I had some signs, because the liberals, I would just post signs about five feet away saying no fire, and then the fire couldn't go past those signs and I'd be okay. This one looks like it's burning underneath pretty good over here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Because it's kind of getting underneath.
See, the problem with that wind is, man, when it, when it picks up, this thing just flares. I mean, it just freaking shoots across that pasture. And I'm about to my maximum reach of the hose, so I'm going to go ahead and probably put that one out, too. Because I don't think my hose is going to go much further. Some farmers out there. Never go with a blast. Always flare your water for maximum coverage. All right, I just want to knock it down a little bit. Damn fireman out there and shit. There's some nurse out there. Woo! That's against the law. There's some regulation and you're breaking the shut up. Thank your damn hospital running around like you're the charge. You're the pasture charge uh, nurse. <laughs> I know I'm pissing off people bringing up horses, but the more you people whine and cry about it, the more I'm bringing it up. <laughs> now see that little piece of wood right there smoking? I don't care if that catches fire again. There's nothing around it for it really to catch on fire. And all my other smoke is pretty much gone. One little smoking part over here. Alrighty, and that's Fire 101, uh, burning pastures or, I mean the fire department said they'll come out here and light this whole pasture on fire and burn it down for me, but they want a donation. That's how government gets you for money. We need a donation. We don't charge you for it, it's free, but you got to donate. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to film that and come out here and just let them light the whole damn pasture on fire and burn it down, but, uh, and I think what they do is they drive a truck around with water. They do a controlled burn basically like this around the whole perimeter of the pasture, then they light the middle on fire and it doesn't go anywhere. So when you have a mobile water truck, I guess that uh, works pretty good. All right, so we'll end that there. It's good to today. The wind's not too bad here. I mean, I, it gets some gusts, but it's, it's changing a lot. So uh, we'll end that there.